If you're a fan of gothic suspense, then you already know the regulars. Emily Bronte, Mary Shelley, maybe you'd consider Mary Stewart in the mix, but there's one author that I think is so overlooked in this genre, and that is Mary Roberts Reinhardt. Today we're gonna look at a little bit more about her and her work, and I'm gonna share a couple of my favorite books that I've read to date. I'm JP Choquette, and I write suspense books that turn pages and not stomachs. I live here in Vermont and all of my books are set here and I would love if you came along on this journey with me. I like to do book recommendations, book hauls, field trips, and more, all focused around mystery, thriller, and suspense books. I upload new videos each Friday night at five o'clock and if you are already a subscriber, thank you so much for being here. And if you're new, please consider subscribing. Either way, I'd love it if you would give this video a like. And now let's get on with the show. I think Mary Roberts Reinhardt is seriously overlooked, not only as an author, but especially as a gothic suspense author. And because I'm always on the lookout for more gothic suspense and horror authors, I wanted to do this video to hopefully shed a little bit more light and maybe capture more readers' interests about her work. Now, she actually is someone who didn't begin her life as a writer. She was a nurse and there was a stock market crash in the early 1900s and she and her husband lost a lot of money, like almost everything. <laughs> and so she started writing short stories at that time to bring in some income for her family. And this is something else that I really love about her and that really resonates with me as a writer is the fact that she looked at her writing as not only an art form, but also as a living, you know, a way to make a living. And I really respect that. And I think that she must have been someone with great business acumen or she knew someone who was able to guide her because she really did a fantastic job of being published during her career. She wrote, I believe it was 30 books, seven screenplays, and a number of short stories. Fun fact, her short story, or perhaps it'd be called a short novel, it's called The Bat, and that supposedly actually influenced Batman. So the um, origin of Batman may have its history in Mary Roberts Reinhardt's story, The Bat. Also of interest is that Mary Roberts Reinhardt was called the Agatha Christie of America or America's Agatha Christie. So I'm currently reading one of Mary Roberts Reinhardt's books called The Circular Staircase, and I've just started it and I'm very much enjoying it. So I will probably be doing a book recommendation on that very soon. I also in the past have read her book, The Yellow Room, which I loved. And I have a recommendation video here, which you can check out, where I talk a little bit more about the storyline and why you might enjoy it as well. Some of the words that come to mind or the phrases that come to mind when I think of Mary Roberts Reinhardt's work are things like atmospheric tension, where it's like so good, it almost feels like it's another character, like the atmosphere or the setting is almost a character in itself. I absolutely love that in books and she does a fantastic job. Also, her characters are really interesting. Already in this book that I'm reading now, The Circular Staircase, she is, she's kind of, the main character is in her 40s, I think, she's a maiden aunt and she has a great sense of humor and she's very like no nonsense and you know other people are afraid to be in this house that they're renting for the summer and she's all about like no we're not you know that's foolishness we're not believing all those fairy tales and on and on so um i really like the characters that she creates she she has a lot of twists and turns in the novels and they're very much slow burn novels so you know if you're used to something very fast and action-packed you might not enjoy them as much but i think for most of us um, who are drawn to gothic suspense these are just perfect because it's kind of that slow simmering tension that keeps building up throughout the novel 
Other popular characteristics in her work are isolated areas, usually far out in the country, and the houses are usually these grand mansions, which that in itself is always fun to read about because it's so different from most of our regular day lives. So I mentioned that I was reading The Circular Staircase and what that novel is about is a maiden aunt, like I mentioned, I think she's in her 40s, and she has inherited her niece and nephew um, after their father passed away when they were young. Now the kids are adults now, I believe they're either in college or just out of college, and for the summer she decides to rent a summer home so that they can spend some more time together. And their home is this huge, I think it's like a 27 room mansion um, way out in the country. And at first, you know, there's a lot of excitement when they get there and um, plans for this wonderful summer vacation together. However, the staff all mysteriously begins leaving. They're all quitting and she is down to one, um, I believe he's the butler. And there's a little interaction between her and the taxi driver who ends up bringing her a whole fresh batch of, of staff to the mansion. And he even offers this special rate for his taxi services because he's constantly kind of bringing new staff. So that's kind of raising alarm bells for her. But like I said, she's very straightforward. She's very um, centered and nonplussed. And she just thinks there's got to be a reason for all of this. You know, she doesn't believe in hauntings or ghosts. Um, she thinks maybe there's a thief or some other strange occurrences going on in the mansion. So. That is definitely one to check out. I'm actually listening to that one as an audiobook. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the narrator, but it's an enjoyable story nonetheless, and um, it always helps me to have an audiobook to turn to when I have to do boring stuff like do the dishes or clean up after dinner or sweep the floor or whatever. So I'm gonna um, stick with it. So two more really quick things before I go. One is that I found this very cool video by Say Kevi. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm gonna link to that down below. And it's just a really cool overview of Mary Roberts Reinhardt and some interesting ideas about why she maybe wasn't as popular during her time period as like Agatha Christie or. And the second thing is that this weekend I had the chance to go visit an antique book sale here in Vermont. And this is an annual event and it was fun and it was cool. And I took some footage of that. Um, so I'm going to include that right after this. If you're interested, stick around and check it out. Until next time, happy reading. And remember, Friday nights, five o'clock, new videos. Take care.